In today's video, we're going to be using Python to create a simple app that calculates the area of a circle. All we need to get from the user is the value of the radius, so how big the radius of the circle is, and from there we'll get Python to calculate using the formula pi r squared and work out what the um, area of the circle is. So an example of how that's going to work is on your screen now, it says enter the radius of the circle. If we type in 6, press enter, it'll come back and say the area of the circle is that. Okay, so it's a fairly simple app, fairly straightforward. Uh, let's get stuck into making it. So once in Python, make yourself a new file. So you just got a blank document. And as I said before, the um, formula that we're going to be using to determine the area of a circle is pi r squared. Now Python doesn't know what the value is for pi, so we're going to need to define that at the start of our app. Um, I'm going to define it using a variable, and it's going to be a special type of variable called a constant. Now a constant variable is one that doesn't change its value, so once we set it in the app, then it sticks with that um, value the entire way through. So I'm going to write a variable name called constant pi, and I'm going to set that to 3.14159, as that is the value of pi. Now you might have noticed that I wrote constant pi in capital letters, and you're probably wondering why I did that. Well, there's no real reason apart from it's good practice in Python to write constant variables in capital letters. Okay, I could have written it in lowercase letters and it still would work fine, but just for good practice, we're going to stick with writing the constants in capital letters. Okay, so my variable there is constant underscore pi, and that's in capital letters. The next thing we're going to do once we've set the value of pi is we're going to ask the user what is the radius of the circle. Okay, so let's type in a new variable called radius, and that's going to store in an input that says enter the radius of the circle. Okay, so that will display a question on the screen and allow the user to input a result. Now obviously when the user um, enters the radius of the circle, it's going to be a number that they type in. Okay, at the moment, the computer or Python recognizes this as a string data type. Alright, so we're going to change that to an integer data type. So before the word input, just write int, int, open up a bracket, and at the end of the line, close the bracket. So now when the user types in the radius of the circle, it's converted from a string data type into an integer. Okay, so now that we've got the radius, we can actually perform the calculation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a third variable here called area, and I'm going to set that equal to constant underscore pi. Okay, so that's pi at the top there. And we're going to times it by the radius squared. So the way we do that is we write in radius. So that's the value the user typed in. And then we're going to do times times 2. Okay, that's how we do the pi r squared formula right there. So that's pi r squared. All right, and then finally, we're just going to put in a line that says print. And we're just going to display the answer to the user. So we'll say the area of the circle is, oops, close your quotation marks, put a comma, and write in area. And that's it. That's how we work out the area of a circle using Python. So let's save it, and we'll give it a test run. I'm just going to call it area of circle, and I'm going to go to run and choose run module. Okay, let's say enter the radius of a circle. Let's try five. Oops. Press enter. And it tells us the area of the circle is 78 point blah, blah, blah. Alrighty, so that's working quite well. So that is the, how you um, determine the area of a circle using Python. 